My name is IJ Onuibo and I am making this video to speak to all Nigerians, especially the youths. Greetings all. It is sort of a coincidence that this message is coming to you on Nigeria's Independence Day. Exactly 57 years ago today, on October 1, 1960, Nigeria gained independence from British rule. I am sure many of you are celebrating, but have you asked yourself what you are celebrating? You don't have independence. You are celebrating an adult country without development. You are celebrating failure. I have observed your interactions in various situations and noticed that so many of you live life like there is no tomorrow and like there are no consequences to how you live and or what you do. Many of you are very lazy, mostly mentally, and others mentally and physically. You want change, but you don't want to do the work to bring the change. A young agile leader, Nam Dekano, started a peaceful movement to liberate you from your captors. But today, he is missing. It seems to me that the cabal who have been sabotaging your progress for 57 years kidnapped him so they could continue to perpetuate the rape and squandering of your future. But many of you are happy and probably thinking good riddance because you want to return to normal. You need to pray that Nam De Kano is still alive and will come back to finish the assignment of setting you free from the clutches of slavery by your political leaders. He has been gone for just about a week or so and the vultures are scavenging already, but not for Nam De Kano. The vultures are coming for all you unconscious and unconcerned citizens. The same people that have been ruling and have been the reason Nigeria is destroyed and decaying are gradually coming out. Some of them speaking favorable things about Nam Dekano to win support of his followers to vote them in 2019. But you are, you are busy sleeping. Wake up. You better pray that things don't go back to normal. These are the same people that for 57 years of so-called independence of Nigeria have still not figured out how to give you permanent electricity, good roads, gainful employment, security of your life and property. As I speak, this evil cabal deployed rogue army in the middle of towns and villages, torturing and killing Igbos, and many of you are happy about it. Just think, whose turn is it going to be if they succeed in killing off Igbos? Whose turn is it going to be next? How about the fact that their lack of vision and leadership, not knowing how to make the country function, have degenerated to people frequently taking the laws into their own hands and killing fellow citizens barbarically? A few days ago, I watched a video where some Hausa Fulani were killing human beings as if they were killing goats or chicken. I watched in trauma as they were cutting with machete into the throats of human beings and slicing the machete into their chest and torso. God. I have also seen a pattern of many who carry around freshly decapitated human heads. 
how long do you think it will take to get to you if things don't change? You will be in perpetual slavery under them and will never advance to a status of a developed society because those people already starting to woo you for 2019 are the same people without any idea of how to advance, build, and equip a society to function well. That's why you're suffering. They will take you back to status quo, where they will continue to squander your collective wealth and put you deeper in debt. Nigeria is bankrupt and almost 6.5 trillion naira in debt, and they are still borrowing to do what? Pay their salaries and allowances. Who do you think will get the bill? You. Yes, that's right. Most of them are well advanced in years and don't have too much time left to live. So they don't care what kind of world and country they are leaving behind for you. All they care about is to get drunk with power and party with your money. Are you awake yet? If not, it's time to wake up. There is no law and order. The president don't even follow the law. His army is in the southeast doing the job of the police. On top of it, doing the atrocity of killing and torturing the citizens they are supposed to protect. Just because the citizens are asking for their legal civil right. If you keep quiet and let the cabal win, you will be slaves in Nigeria forever. Zimbabwe will become a paradise for you to live. Rise up now in unanimous support of referendum. Embrace Biafra, embrace Odudua, embrace Ariwa. Look, Ariwa youths, let me tell you something. Your elites don't love you. All they do is use you to do their dirty work of killing people that they feel intimidated by. And by the way, people that are trying to get them to do the right thing. They live in their mansions and fly their private jets. And you poor people live in thatched and mud houses while few of them live in their magnificent mansions built with the money that belongs to you while they eat on golden tables. You are on the, in the mud houses drinking tuo. And the secret you don't get is that you are also entitled to live as well as they do if they had used the money that belongs to all of you to do the right things. Build schools, build hospitals, create jobs, build the infrastructure that sustains a society. I want you to know that all the regions that make up Nigeria have what it takes to stand on their own. And if we separate peacefully, we can all support one another to do better. Stop the old man from hijacking your destiny. Stop squandering your future by acting like waiting concern me. Everything concerns you. As the people in a democratic society, stand in solidarity to stop voting in these same cabal. 
march peacefully in protest to national assembly and demand referendum and let them know that if no referendum you will not vote 2019 election demand that the old visionless people clear off and allow young people with fresh ideas to take over to begin steering things in the right direction. I know you all are usually generous with creative insults, no matter how good the message is, but I don't need it. Keep it in the shelf for someone that really needs it. What I need from you is for you to listen to this message again and again and really think about it. Think about your future. 